Okay, so um, I want to get this ready for the laser cutter, but let me explain the problem to you guys um, with the laser cutter. If there is, I'll get rid of all this, if there is a path going through another path, the laser cutter looks for these paths and it will cut wherever it sees a path. So it's going to cut here and here and it's just going to make a huge mess. We want it to cut only where there's intersections. So let me show you how we're going to solve this problem. Um, First thing you need to do, I, I found a no fuss, no muss way, is you export it as a JPEG. Um, so I'm gonna, I already did, and they called it letters final 01. Okay, so, but just in case you're like, how do I do that again? Change it to RGB, make sure this is really important, that this is high, and the quality is 10. And I'm gonna say, okay. And then um, we're gonna file, open, and of course we'll open up the JPEG is, which no longer has passed because this is a raster image. It's, it's a bitmap image. If I zoom in on it, eventually, as you will see, you can actually begin to see the, the physical pixels in the image. Okay, not a problem for us because we're going to just go ahead and expand it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to make sure it's selected and go to image trace and say okay to this. Oh, I should have gone to an advanced version of this, actually. I'm going to undo that. Undo image tracing. Window. I want to have a little bit more control. Go to window image trace. And in advanced, first of all, I'm going to say ignore white. I don't want that anymore. And, of course, black and white looks good. And we can go ahead and preview it. And say, okay. Probably it's going to be okay. This is a pretty straightforward image. And... That looks great. Okay, so you see it looks almost the same, identical to this one. The only difference is that if I take this now and I go to no fill, cancel. Oh, I have to expand it. Object expand. Okay. And then I say no fill. Look at that. It's all as it should be. See, there's no like weird intersections where I don't want them to be. I mean, I should see. See, like, I do have gaps here, obviously, but like they're not major problem gaps. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Last thing I need to do are a couple of things. I know it sounds strange. You want to get rid of this external path. Why? Because um, the laser cutter doesn't need to cut that out, and it can actually damage the machine. So you're going to come in with the direct selection tool, the white arrow, and delete just the external path. So that's all gone. And then I'm going to grab this and give it a stroke of black, but as strange as it sounds, it's going to be, oh, come on, 0.25 points. Let's do that again. Not stroke of white, stroke of black. Zero, 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 okay. And there it is. So that is printer ready. Um, I just have to save that again. So I'll call this one silver, oopsie, that's my last name, silver. Laser. Oh, yeah. And I'll show you guys how to turn that in for me. That's it.